let's take a few minutes to talk about how we can customize errors and blank rows within a pivot table. Now, by default, as you would expect, pivots won't display row labels for items where values don't exist. However, you can force Excel to show those items, even in cases where there's no data in your source table. So let me show you what I mean by that. Here we're looking at the sum of gross revenue across movie titles, categorized by countries and genres. And we have cases like Australia, where we have many titles in our sample across many different genres, action, adventure, animation, biography, etc. And other countries like Afghanistan, Argentina, or Aruba, that may only have a small number of titles in our sample that span only one or two genres, like drama, crime, or action. If we want the genre column, column B in this case, to display every possible genre for every country, what we could do is simply right click that column header, in this case genre, navigate to our field settings, and check this box at the bottom of the list that says show items with no data. And what that will do is force the pivot table to display the full set of genres for each country in the table layout. And from here, what we can do is navigate to our layout and format options and customize exactly how these empty values, as well as potential error values, get displayed. Now, you might be wondering why you'd ever really want to do this and kind of create rows for data that will just equal zero anyway. And it's not very common at all, um, but one use case is for displaying all of these possible items within your table layout, even those blanks or zeros so that you can create a consistent layout or template for other purposes. Or similar use case, maybe you expect all of these items to be populated, and if they're not, you wanna be able to flag them or draw attention to those missing values. Another option here, reformatting blanks or errors, simply to clean up user-facing reports or dashboards built with a pivot table. So let's jump into our pro tip workbook. I'm going to show you how we can add these items with no data to a pivot table and then customize exactly how they get displayed. All right, so if you'd like to follow along, head to your table of contents. We're going to drill into the showing empty items demo in our gray pivot table tip section. Let's go ahead and link straight out. And just like we described, we're looking at IMDb movie database here. We've got the sum of revenue and the sum of budget in column C and D broken down by country and by genre. And just like we had described, we've got countries like Australia and Canada and France that have generated titles across a number of different genres and other countries like Colombia or Finland, where maybe only one or two genres are represented here in our data set. So in this case, let's say I would like to include a row for every possible genre across each country. To do that, I can right click the column header, in this case, B1 for genre head to my field list settings or field settings. And in the layout and print tab, all I need to do is check this box that says show items with no data. Press okay. And there we go. Now all 17 possible genres are represented for every single country within our table layout. And once we have this in place, what we can do is customize exactly what these blank rows, these rows with no data actually look like. So to do that, we're gonna go into Pivot Table Tools, Options, and right here in the Layout and Format tab, we've got two checkboxes here. One to customize how to format error values, and one to customize how to format empty cells. So by default, those empty cells are formatted as, you guessed it, empty cells. But we can change that to a different value if we'd like. We could use text like NA, we could use a value like zero here, since Technically, that is accurate. You know, comedy films in Afghanistan did drive zero dollars in revenue, but it's also slightly misleading because the fact is those values are simply missing from our data set. So let's jump back, and I think I prefer the blank cell here for those empty cells. Go ahead and press OK. And now, what if we had a calculated field here in our values list as well? Something like ROI, for instance which is simply gross revenue divided by budget. In this case, this should be a percentage. So let's change the value field settings. Oops, 
let's change the number format, excuse me, to percentage. There we go. And now because this calculation is running against every single row in our pivot, including rows with blank denominators, we get all of these div zero messages here. Um, and this is the default behavior. What we can do is head back into our options and customize what those error messages look like. So let's check that box and we can show them as a blank like so, which I think I actually prefer. Or if you'd like, you can customize a value here, something like NA. And again, this is a case where I would not replace those error messages with a zero because that will do things like skew any averages you might take or any calculations that you might make against this ROI field. And it tells kind of a misleading story because the ROI, the return on investment, was not 0% for these genres. It simply didn't exist. So let's jump back to options. I actually prefer to use blanks for both of these so that all we see are the rows that are populated with data from our source table. So there you have it, showing items in your pivot table with empty data. Not the most common pivot table tip in the world, but one that can be a great help when you need it.